everyone, so I'm back with our corporate chef, Honor Harvey, say hi. hi. <laughs> so we're so excited today. Um, I told you we were gonna make tzatziki, I messed up, because we actually have a really cool surprise for you today. It's one of my favorite things that we have. Um, we are gonna make waffles for you today. We're gonna make tzatziki when? Tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna do cashew cream tzatziki probably tomorrow. Um, both of these recipes are gonna be on my website. Um, Heather, who's filming right now, Heather, we're gonna put those on the website, right? Yes. Yes. So we're going to have those recipes for you on my website at TanaAmon.com. So we are so excited to have Honor back with us. If you've ever been with us at one of our events in the past, Honor has been one of the ones to just really, she does an amazing job with, you know, doing these really healthy uh, recipes and plating them and serving them. And we're happy to have her back. She was gone for a while. She went up north. Um, to be with family and now she's back and we're super excited. So I want to share with you one of our favorite meals that we have in this house and these are our low carb, do you have a special name for them or are they low carb waffles? They're just delicious waffles is what they are. <laughs> right. So they're low carb, uh, they're gluten free, dairy free, they do have eggs in them, they're amazing. So they're, they're a great amount of protein. I'm gonna let her sort of explain what she does and then we're gonna talk about some of the fun tips that you, things you can do with them. Okay, I'm really sorry. I have to run the uh, KitchenAid while I do this a little bit, um, but I'm gonna start whipping my egg whites. So, so how many egg whites do you have? Okay, so I start with 10 eggs and you have to separate the yolks and the whites um, and get your egg whites going here because we wanna get a stiff peak consistency. Um, so you do it till they peak? Exactly. Okay. Um, and you can put them on high. Okay, and can you hear us okay? Can you hear us okay? Make sure people can hear us okay. It's okay. We'll just ask them. Get a little closer if you have to. I probably should have done that first. Sorry. It's okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. The egg yolks go in a medium to large bowl because you want to make room to put these egg whites in later. Um, so big bowl. Big bowl. Ten egg white or ten egg yolks. Sorry. Um, and then first liquids. So I'm going to do, this is a 13.5 ounce can of full fat coconut milk. Organic, of course. We are not fans of fat free just so you know these are more these are like most almost a ketogenic consistency although these are not because we have this recipe has uh, flax dairy. in it and it's dairy free right this recipe has right. flax we have a version of this that is ketogenic just so you know okay um and then so i mix in my liquid um i'm just gonna get this going a little bit higher okay um, so then I have two and a half cups of almond flour, organic again. So almond flour, two and a half, half a cup of golden flax. I like the golden versus the dark because the dark makes it look a little more whole wheat, which kind of scares kids away sometimes. So you think golden because it's lighter. But you and can flax. do either. Flax is so good for you. So yes. it's got so many cancer fighting properties. It, it really increases the amount of fiber. Um, in this recipe, so it's amazing and it tastes great. Okay, one uh, teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> okay, and then I have a quarter of a cup of uh, coconut oil, organic, um, unrefined. And we're gonna mix this all together. Let me get this going on high for one second. <laughs> so you don't need an electric mixer. Um, you could use an electric mixer if that's all you have, but I just you need a whisk for this, don't have to. but you need an, an electric for this. But not for this. No. So you can hand mix this. You can beat your egg whites, but it's going to take you some time <laughs> if you do it by hand. Okay, so that's all together, and then you just need one more second with this. Sorry, no, you're good. This is fine. They should, it's actually good for them to see. I don't know about you. I like to actually see how people do things instead of just telling me how they do it. I usually end up just telling you guys because um, of the time it takes. But I'm happy to see how she actually does her egg whites. Okay. So yeah, you want to get them nice and thick and heavy. I don't know if you can see this. So let's actually, when you take the bowl out, make sure they um, show it to them. Because not everybody knows what peaked egg whites look like. So the stiffer so the better. Um, these are actually just fine. I would maybe even go a couple, like another minute or two, but um, so nice and heavy and foamy. And then take them. And what I do, it's kind of like an angel, an angel food cake whenever you're making that. Fold about a third of the whites in first and kind of start fluffing up your batter. And 
and do another third. These are super, super easy and they're so yummy. No, they're ridiculous. So we're a little obsessed with these because um, I have to tell you, these make the perfect toaster oven breakfast. We freeze them. Um, so we make, uh, when we do it, it might take a little longer than it normally would take to do this because we do what, 20 or 30 of them at a time. Yes. And then we freeze them. Um, we, that way we've got breakfast for the gym. We've got breakfast when we're in a hurry. Uh, remember the old pop tarts? Well, this is the healthy version of pop tarts. Pop them in the oven after the toaster oven. We put them in the toaster oven uh, for about three minutes and we've got breakfast. And wait till you see the syrup. Oh my gosh. Okay, so side note if you're gonna make multiple batches, you need to wash this out for your next batch of egg whites because if you don't, they won't flip up as much. I've tried. I've oh, that's, that's a good that's a good tip. Yeah, no, <laughs> good to know. Okay, so that's it. Look so. how fluffy this is. I have to show them. Look at how fluffy, like that looks fluffy. I'm gonna grab a uh, so cut cool. measure, I'll be right back. <laughs> like, I don't know, I've never like had them turn out that fluffy, that's so cool. Okay, to the back. So, I have a half cut measure. Um, so what I do, I love this particular- I'm gonna get these out of your way. Okay, thank you. Um, I love, love, love this particular waffle iron because it makes these perfect little square waffles. I've actually gotten like three Private Chef clients in the past to buy this specific one just because I love it so much. Oh, smoky. Um, but what I do is about a half cup measure. Um, I usually do a little bit of coconut spray, or you can just use coconut oil from the jar. Spray it in there. About a half a cup per square. Okay, so not everybody has this waffle iron. Um, is just, it okay if they don't have that waffle iron? Oh, absolutely, of course. Okay. <laughs> if you have a Mickey Mouse wa waffle iron, I'll <laughs> power to you. Um, but just take, I'd start out with like, half a cup to three quarters of a cup for like a standard round because it tends to explode because of the egg whites and I just want to save you a mess. Um, so anyway, just kind of give yourself a little more coconut oil on top and shut it and you let it do its magic. Um, Show them the so end result. So this is the end result. This is using, um, this ha actually has cinnamon in it and vanilla and some Yeah, so they're a little bit dark because of the, yeah. ci the cinnamon and the flax, And right? the darker flax, yes. And then, um, yeah, so that's it. So you just um, Show them the let them go. Ones. Oh, and then what we do is as soon as we, I actually uh, make sure to cool them on a rack because you want to keep them nice and puffy. And then- So the air needs to go underneath, is that Exactly, why? Okay. yeah, it helps them from falling flat. Um, and then as soon as they are fully cold, you wrap them in plastic wrap. So we wrap them, so let me explain to you because someone's gonna write in and say something about plastic. <laughs> you don't have to use plastic, you can use individual like sandwich bags, brown sandwich bags or yes, whatever kind absolutely. of wrap. Um, the reason we do it in plastic is because they're going in the freezer. They're not gonna be warm when plastic is bad for you is when it gets heated, right? So um, we wanna be able to see them, but you can easily wrap them in parchment paper or whatever you wanna wrap oh, them. Absolutely, yeah. for sure. Um, okay, so let's talk about some options. I love this recipe. First of all, I have to give a shout out really quick to John Jackson. He's an amazing trainer who gave me this amazing keto recipe that I've totally tweaked for the Brain Warriors way. I love you, John, and I'm so excited. That's so awesome. Anyway. <laughs> yes, thank you, whoever um, yeah. you are, thank you. But I'm I totally grateful. like revamp this so it's healthy for your brain, healthy for your gut, awesome. Anyway, so this is cool because you can do these sweet or savory. Um, so I make these awesome syrups. Um, this is just fruit syrup. This is strawberry, uh, peach, and blueberry. And what I do is just take a bag of organic fruit. I add either a quarter cup of erythritol and I cook it down on the stove, low heat for maybe like five minutes or less, just to melt the erythritol in with the juices of the fruit. And then I blend it in a blender. You can also use uh, stevia. If so you're not for people a fan who of don't, we're, we're we're we are not opposed to erythritol. We actually use it as the one sugar alcohol we use. It actually digests differently than other sugar alcohols. However, if you are one of those people who doesn't want to use sugar or alcohols, okay, don't use stevia instead and just use what maybe a dropper full. Yeah, okay. one or two drops. Just to taste. To your taste. Yeah, um, just play with it. Okay, so the fun thing is you can either do sweet, you can do like pumpkin spice, cinnamon, throw some vanilla in there. So you, and we also, just want them to play. Um, yeah, or stevia chocolate chips. Oh, oh chocolate yeah, chips. so sugar-free chocolate chips. Sugar-free, stevia sweetened. Yeah, okay. so let me ask a question though. If they're gonna put cinnamon in there, how much do they use? I'd say like 
two teaspoons. I'd probably put like a tablespoon. I mean, I love cinnamon. We like cinnamon too. It's really good for you. So. Yeah, so the more the merrier. Okay. I'd say maybe two teaspoons. Two so tablespoons. why do we have ham and okay. greens so with our So what's also waffles. fun is you can take the batter and you can fold in, like I love to do waffles for dinner and do like a waffle with a poached egg on top and like a cashew cream hollandaise sauce. Mm. So I'll fold in a... Uh, oh, that sounds really it's good. It's so good. Make, yeah. That's oh, like, so that's that's like eggs benedict almost. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so you can fold in like some chopped up green onions and herbs, or you can do like ground meat in there and do like a pizza dipper. You oh, can holy do smokes. With like tomato sauce, so it's like a pizza waffle. Um, you can send that with your kids for lunch. Chop oh up some ham. You can do savory or sweet, and I love it. Or throw on some almond butter. So one thing Chloe loves to do. This is one. Of, this is Chloe's favorite. She heats up the almond butter so that it's like a dip. So it's like a spread, but it's not thick. It, it's actually runny. Yeah. And then she also uses just that way. She uses less. My daughter's obsessed with not having sugar. <laughs> not even like too much fruit sugar. She's like obsessed over the top. So what she does is she'd rather have the fat from the almond butter and just a tiny bit of the flavor of that. So you can do that too. So she calls it PB and J. It's actually A B and J. Right. But yeah, almond butter and jelly. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. So good. So that's it. So we've got your sweet, your breakfast. You can do savory for lunch and dinner or breakfast. Okay. So yeah, those were almost done. We were we're at less than 15 minutes. Okay. Right. So we still have to finish the batch. So probably about 15 minutes for a batch. Um, so a couple things I like for this. So I, like I said. We get up early, we go to the gym, we need something. I need energy for the gym, but I don't have time to make a big breakfast. So I either do a smoothie, but now this has like been my favorite for a while. That was like one of my new favorites. I've been kind of crazy about them. So they're awesome because we take them out of the freezer, throw them in a toaster oven, and they're good to go. Um, they're just this great frozen toaster meal. I also think they're this great way to trick your kids into eating healthy. Mm -hmm. So we constantly tell you not to send your kids to school with a carb heavy breakfast, with a sugar heavy breakfast. Because then they get in trouble, they're not paying attention, they're not able to focus, and we get mad at them, right? That doesn't make any sense. We need them to be able to focus, and giving them sugar for breakfast is not going to help them. So what we want to do is give them some protein and healthy fat for breakfast. This is protein and healthy fat and fiber. Okay, so the carbs that are in here are mostly fiber, so the net amount of um, carbs are very, very little. And they taste amazing. Kids think they're getting waffles. They are, but they're getting a healthy version. And they're they're just they're this fun way for you to get your kids on board with eating healthy. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense. So it's one of the reasons that we do that. And you've got, like she said, all these amazing alternatives. So you can do eggs benedict with a cashew cream sauce. Now, now what happens though? That's honors, another that, recipe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I know where we're going with this. Everyone's going to be writing and going, "Where's the recipe for that?" You gotta give us a little time. You gotta stay I do. Tuned. I try to answer my own questions. Although when I started that answering all my own questions, my community was half of the size that it is now. So imagine how long it takes to do that and how long it takes to get all this stuff out. You gotta be patient with me, okay? Um, so I am bringing in help now, like honor and uh, to help with <laughs> recipes, and I'm still trying to get to those questions. That takes me a little more time. So. 15 minutes, we're done. You've got your syrups, you've got everything here ready to go. It's beautiful, it's delicious, and I just... You I can have... also throw things like chia seeds or hemp seeds in there. I mean, awesome. throw any nuts that you enjoy. Ground up walnuts, you can use walnut flour, hazelnut flour. I mean, you don't have to use almond meal. You can use whichever... So the only thing with that is that some people will use coconut flour if they're allergic to nuts, and that's going to change the consistency. It correct. is going to change. They're going to be a little bit drier, obviously, if you use coconut flour. Because it absorbs moisture. Yeah, so I would maybe add a little bit more of the coconut oil into your mix if you're going to do that. And then you have to play with it a little. Yeah, tweak it a little bit. So, so, but don't be afraid to play. Oh, absolutely. So there's so much fun. Um, I hope that was so, anything else? Yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Um, so one waffle has about seven grams of protein in it, which is that's awesome. Awesome, and they're just they're less than 200 calories with the syrup. I mean, they're about 170, like 170 to 80. About a, yeah, 170 to 180, depending on your size of waffle. I would say one of these squares is probably the equivalent of half of a round. Some, right. Judging by size. <laughs> but anyway, so And yeah. so the carbs, net carbs, are typically like three grams, right? Yeah, like th three grams. Yeah, and we, a half. we put, because I wrote we put I flax in there, yeah. and so flax makes it a little bit more, I think. Yeah. But there's more fiber. But so, yeah, the dietary fibers are higher. It's yeah. um, less than one gram of actual sugar. And really good for you. From the almonds. Yeah. And that's it. So awesome. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I get a snack. I get a warm waffle. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Really good idea. Try them for dessert, try them for breakfast.
time for your kids' lunch. Have a great day. And we have them on the website in the next day or two. Oh, website in the next day or two. They'll be there for you.